here at Riders Lounge with uh, Lusaka Dynamo striker Keo Abraham, um, who's been in Zambia for a while. Keo, so we'll begin. Where were you born? Uh, born, and born and raised in Johannesburg. Mm. Uh, my mom and dad also from Johannesburg. Yeah, I grew up in Johannesburg the most, all of my life basically. But you don't look at you, you look like you grew up in Cape, on the Cape. You know, funny enough, I get that from a lot of people. You know, people who meet me for the first time, they'll always be like, man, are you from Cape Town? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no. Including South Africa? Including South Africa. Mm -hmm. Even people from my area, you know, people who don't really know me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just find that they'll be like, you, you're from Cape Town? Mm -hmm. No, 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 I'm not from Cape Town. I'm born in Johannesburg, right mm -hmm. in this area. And I'm like, no, but how come we don't know you? Like no, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm from born and bred in Johannesburg. I've been here all my life. Okay. So, born in Cape Town, moved no, to play born football. in Johannesburg. Born in Johannesburg. You see, I'm, I'm very messed up as well. Now, moved to play football in Zambia. How's been your experience so far? It's been a good experience. Um, a bit challenging in terms of the weather. Yeah. Because the sun here is dangerous. I won't lie to you. The sun here is very dangerous. But yeah, it's it's been a good experience so far. Th Thirteen. When you talk about sun, thirteen hours kickoff. Boom! Your first match. Which was your first match? And then you played at thirteen hours. How did you feel? Hey, because people have complained. The the one pm kickoff is not it's not a joke. Mm. It's it's a dangerous one. Mm. Like honestly, I, I won't lie to you. you you'll be playing, and the minute you step off the field, you, you can actually feel that your body has gone down. Mm. Like you lost maybe plus minus three to five kg mm. in just 90 minutes. So I mean, yeah, that one, that one is is a tricky one. You have to be mentally, mentally prepared for 1 p.m. kickoff. Why Zambia? Why Zambia? Uh, I'll be brutally honest with you. Opportunities in SA are hard to come by. Yeah, it's it's really hard to come by. Also, when you're over the age of 25, most people consider you old. So instead of being stagnant, doing nothing at all, you know, I'm a really ambitious guy. Right? So I like to explore. Zambia is not the first country that I've played in other than South Africa. I've been to Mozambique, I've been to Swaziland. So yeah. I'm quite used to being outside of South Africa, so Zambia just came up. I was initially I had to go to Angola. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 30 at the moment. Yeah, so initially it had to be Angola, but yeah, it ended up. I ended up in Zambia. Okay, you had um, Lusaka Diamonds. Uh, tell us, Lusaka Diamonds. They've all there's been all this information that things are going bad there. How has been your experience since you joined the club? No, look, Lusaka Dynamo is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a, people have said it's a big club in the country and you can see by, what, by what's happening inside. You know football has its problems, football has its ups and downs. Um, I joined them in mid-August, yeah, and then you know how it goes. You have players who are not happy and you have the ones who are just quiet. So you can't really tell what's happening until you get inside. Yeah, I don't know. Like for me, it hasn't been. I haven't experienced any bad as yet. I say as yet because you never know mm -hmm. what could happen. So for me, right now, it's been okay. Where I stay is okay. Um, I salaries hasn't. I haven't had an issue at the moment. So yeah, it's been okay. Now the huge talking talking point currently is one of your teammates. Your captain, Crispin Mugabe. Yes, Mugabe. We won't get into all the issues to do with his transfer or something. But you know, some people say he's overrated. Some people say he's 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 not worth it. Some people say he's the best. How has it been playing with him? Well, let's go back to the beginning. When I got here, um, you know, he wasn't around. He wasn't around, so I was training with other guys like Zemiseli, um, Moyo, Dennis Daouda. Just to name a few, uh, Sydney Kalume, yeah, and then boom, the guy rocks up to train me. And everybody's like, wow, Chris is back. But people so, got excited. Yeah, you mm. know, people, 
when he when he when he when he rocked up, you know, his presence was felt. Mm. You know, so me being the new guy, I'm like, okay, who's this? Who's this guy? <laughs> and then you know, you find out, no, he's the captain. He's, he's the top goal scorer. Mm. You know, and then yeah, you know, people just see him and things light up. You know, like Chris is around. So yeah, and then as time went on, you get to know the guy. You know, people like I said, people see this this hard exterior but in, in, in a nutshell the guy is soft he is soft spoken he carries himself well very professional and yeah you know talking about people saying he's overrated this that football has its people have their preferences people know who they like who they don't like and me personally the guy is a positive he's top class yeah I think his attributes, what what sets him apart, the guy is strong, and you don't get many strikers who can use their feet as well as he does. Mm. You know, he's got skill, he's yeah. tricky. One v one, he can slot in, no doubt. <laughs> and the nice thing is that he knows the net. Mm. He knows how to put the ball into the net. So, I think that for me is what sets him apart. Mm. I won't say Zambian strikers are not as good as him. But he's got certain attributes that are very difficult to master the way he is. And yeah, the guy's just gentle. You know, you get to know him, you share a joke with him, yeah, he's just easy. Apart from what you see on the exterior, you know, the strong physique, you know, he's approachable. Okay. Your toughest opponent so far, is that? My toughest opponent. Man, you know, this morning when you're I was thinking about this, I was like, this question will come up. And I answered it while being in the bath. I'm like, this is how I respond to this question. Toughest opponent, like the player or team? Both. Let's start, okay, with, let's start let's with the team. team. The toughest team, uh, it had to be in Ghana. <laughs> I wonder, it, it had to be. Man, from the first whistle up mm. until... I got substituted at 45 mm. in the changing room. Mm. But from observing, mm. man, he was crunched, he was squashed like this. Is that the toughest team you've played? Uh, period or one of the toughest teams no, you've played? Period. One of the toughest mm. in Zambia, mm. in Ghana. No, that was it. It was it was that. There was no space to breathe. <laughs> Nothing. You, you you get the ball. You you know what to do, but the guys on top of you. Okay. You move. They press you. Uh, those guys, yeah. Those, that was the toughest one. Okay, toughest um, player you faced so far? Toughest player uh, well, would be in Ghana as well. Mm. It would have to be the, the number three. I don't know his name. Um, is, is that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think. Hassan Kesi? I'm sure I, don't okay. I don't know him personally, mm. but yeah, the guy is he's one of the guys who are tough. Yeah, he's tough, that guy. Gave you a yeah, tough time. he gave me a tough time. Okay. You know, he's one of those that it's not easy to beat him. But mm. when you do beat him, you better make sure you take the chance, because it might not come again. Okay, last question. We just have a quick trivia for you. We just ask back-to-back -back questions, which you just have to answer. You know, it's um, it's it's two. So uh, we start red or black? Uh, red. Ishima or rice? For now, Ishima. <laughs> 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 Nkana or Power Dynamos? Uh, Power Dynamos. Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Uh, I'd say both, but if I had to choose one, it would be Cristiano. Alright, okay. Thanks, Gil, and it was Thank nice chatting with you. Thank you very much for having me.